Hey everyone, have you ever tried to learn how to code but got stuck? In my new Private Fan programming class, we're going to break that loop. This course is primarily focused on people who are complete beginners, so don't worry if you don't have any background. This course is different than other courses because we're going to teach you to think like a programmer and solve problems like a robot. So let's get started. So in this section, we're going to start with a problem like we did last time, and we're going to use Python to try to solve that problem and learn more about Python on the way. So in this section, we're going to talk about Cypher, Caesar Cypher, which is a type of cryptography. It's the most basic type of cryptography. And the way that ciphers work is actually a historical thing. It's a pretty interesting subject. So in this video, we're just going to talk about what Caesar Cypher is in general. And then the next couple of videos, we're going to implement it in Python and try a couple of additional things on top of that. So Caesar Cypher was a very particular uh, way of um, decrypting and encrypting messages. So to take a step back in what cryptography is. Cryptography is dealing with encrypting and decrypting messages that people might want to send between one another. And you can imagine that if I wanted to send you a secret message or you wanted to send me a secret message, we would want to encrypt and decrypt that information. Now that sounds a little bit like, why are we sending secret messages? But in, rea in reality, we're doing this every day. Computers are always sending encrypted and de encrypted messages to secure Thing. So when you put your credit card information into the internet, for example, that's a message that you want to be encrypted. So this is actually very relevant to us nowadays. Uh, now, cryptography as a field is actually much more advanced than what we're going to learn in this course uh, with Caesar Cipher, uh, because it's modern cryptography is quite complicated. Uh, but we're going to learn about Caesar Cipher, which was actually one of the first ciphers that was in existence and one of the simplest encryption techniques. So this is from back in the day of Julius Caesar. That's why it's named such. And it was actually used by Julius Caesar in his private correspondence to encode his messages so others couldn't read it themselves. So that's the general idea behind C Caesar Cipher. Now, the exact implementation of Caesar Cipher, why we want to use cryptography and Caesar Sp Cipher specifically, is to encrypt and decrypt messages. So imagine if I wanted to send you this message, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So this message might be the, the message I want to send to you, uh, but I don't want other people to be able to read it. So the, the general steps here is I'm going to want to translate this message into this gibberish looking message that looks like gibberish to anyone else, but it's actually an encoded version of this message, right? And then I want you, the recipient, to be able to know how to translate that back into this original message. So this is the general idea of encryption and decryption. Now, the way that we translate between these two is really what's different about all the different uh, cryptography methods. And this is the simplest one where we replace letters with other letters by a certain rule. So this is known as the substitution cipher. Now, this rule is actually, in the case of Caesar cipher, has to do with shifting over the alphabet a certain number of letters. So you can imagine if I took up here is a great example of this picture. It's why, I, yeah, I, I like this article. I think it's a good explanation. But if you were to move every letter over three steps, D, you move over to A, E, you move over to B, and kind of line them up in this way, that's the general strategy behind Caesar cipher. Here is an explanation of that exact mapping. So A goes to X, B goes to Y. C goes to Z, D goes to A, and so on and so forth. So basically, when I'm translating from the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, what I do is I go to T here, and I replace it with this letter Q, and then that will be my T. And I do that for every letter, so it appears like it's a bunch of gibberish, but really, it's not. It's translated using this very formulaic approach of real words, right? And then if you know that this is the approach that I took, you can do this in reverse to find the original message. So if you just had this message, and you don't even know what the plain text version here is, the original message, you could translate it back if you knew that I used this exact type of cipher. Now this cipher is known as a, uh, uh, Caesar cipher specifically is using three places, right? That left shift of three means that I shifted all these letters over three. So if I move this all, if I move all these letters over to the right on top of A, B, C, D, E, that would be where the letters would line up. And when you go, when you go into an empty space, you loop back around. So you would treat the Z, Y, X would be like this loop where the A would be pushed onto X. So it's this left shift of three. We moved all these letters over three to find the translation. 
that's the idea behind Caesar Cipher. So that's all we're going to talk about here. In the next couple of videos, we're going to learn how we can implement this in Python. Great. So thanks for following along and I'll see you in the next video.